altitude of a triangle and finding the orthocenter. This is 5.3b. We've got five previous videos for chapter five and they're linked in the geometry playlist. An altitude of a triangle is a perpendicular segment from a vertex to the line containing the opposite side. So it's going from the vertex to this opposite side. It's perpendicular. And every triangle has three altitudes. Well, that makes sense. There's three vertices. There's three opposite sides. And an altitude can be inside like this. It can be outside like this. Or it could be on the triangle. In triangle QRS, this black one, QRS, altitude QY right here is inside the triangle. But segment RX, RX right here, and SZ, this one right here, are not inside. And notice that the lines containing the altitudes are concurrent at point P. They meet up at point P. And this point of concurrency, where they meet, is the orthocenter of the triangle. So P is the orthocenter. And two of the altitudes of a right triangle are its legs. Okay, so that's for a right triangle. And the height of a triangle is the length of the altitude. Finding the orthocenter of triangle JKL with vertices J is at negative 4, 2, K is at negative 2, 6, and L is at 2, 2. We graph the triangle according to those coordinates. We find an equation of the line containing the altitude from K to JL. So we're going to go from K at the top and make it perpendicular to JL. So we have that red line, okay? So that's the altitude. Since line JL is horizontal, right here, the altitude will be vertical because it has to be perpendicular, right? And the line containing it must pass through K at negative 2, 6 right here. So the equation of the line is X equals negative 2 because all of the X values are negative 2. It's vertical. And we find an equation of the line containing the altitude from J to KL. So we're going to go from J to segment KL. The slope of line KL is using the slope formula, formula 2 minus 6 over 2 minus a negative 2. And 2 minus 6 is a negative 4, and 2 minus a negative 2, well, we're subtracting a negative, so we add the opposite, so we get a positive 4. When we simplify it, we get a negative 1. And the slope of a line perpendicular to KL is a negative 1. That's the slope. And the line must pass through J at negative 4, 2. Using the point slope form, we, uh, we have Y minus 2 equals 1 times x minus a negative 4. When we use substitution, we put in a 2 for y sub 1 right here. We use a 1 for our slope m, and we use a negative 4 for x sub 1. That gives us y minus 2 equals x plus 4. And we can solve it for y by adding a 2 to both sides of the equation. That eliminates this as a 0 pair, and we have y equals x plus 6. So now, we have x equals a negative 2, which we found right here, and y equals x plus 6, and we solve the system of equations to find the coordinates of the orthocenter. Well, if x equals negative 2, we can substitute it in here for x, can't we? The negative 2. So we have y equals negative 2 plus 6, which means y equals 4. So the coordinates for the orthocenter are negative 2, 4. Negative 2, 4, right there. So, remember the centroid of a triangle is the point of concurrency of the medians of the triangle. And by the centroid theorem, the centroid is located two-thirds of the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. We talked about that in the last video. And the three altitudes of a triangle intersect at the orthocenter. And the circumcenter, centroid, and orthocenter of a triangle are always collinear. That means they're lying in the same straight line. Okay, so for this one we just did, and knowing that the orthocenter is at negative 2, 4, we know it's right there. See? And the prefix ortho means perpendicular or straight. So you can think of an orthodontist straightens teeth with braces. 
and the altitude of a triangle is straight. It's vertical in relation to the side it's perpendicular to. So here's the construction of an orthocenter of a triangle using tissue paper. And the first thing we do is draw a large scalene acute triangle, ABC, on tissue paper. We find the altitude of each side by folding on a vertex. So the opposite side lays upon itself, and the fold will intersect the opposite vertex. So for A, we fold it on the vertex here, and we make a fold so that this line, BC, is laying upon itself like this. Now these vertices are not going to meet. See that? We want it through here so that these lines match on top of each other. And we put the fold, and we can do B. We fold it through B so that AC is laying upon itself flat, like that. We want AC to be flat upon itself through B. And we can do C. We fold the paper this way so that this line is laying upon itself and going through the vertex of C. So it's laying on itself really nice like that, see? And look at that. See where they intersect? We mark the point where the three lines containing the altitudes intersect and label it P. And P is the orthocenter of triangle ABC. Our next lesson is the triangle mid-segment theorem that's 5.4. So try getting some tissue paper and different types of triangles and try folding it like we did here. See if you can find the orthocenter that way, okay? I hope you have a great day. Hit that like button for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.